So guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a sequel to my previous video guys. In my previous video, we saw how to create a minimal design. Uh, wait, I'll show you. This design, right? This screen, uh, we saw how to design. And uh, in this video, let's see how to do this one. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to be focusing on is the uh, uh, design of the screen. It's a rather a simple screen compared to this one, right? We just have two sections and we have some data here and we have some data here. That's it. So what I'll be doing is I'm just going to be focusing on the design spec of this screen, design aspect of the screen uh, and I'll simply hard code all these data. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, this was our code. If you don't have a copy of this code, kindly uh, grab it from the link given in the description below. I'll post it uh, onto GitHub and then share the link in the description section. So I'll create a new file, plant detail dot dot. Okay. And uh, this will be a stateless widget. Stateless widget, plant detail. Oh, I can simply use the mm, return material child. This will be a list view. Uh, children widget will have a stack children inside the stack I can probably fit all these stuff right yeah that would be a better idea the first layer would wait children widget uh, I'll have two containers container container uh, height media query dot of context dot uh, size dot height width media query dot of context dot size dot width fine and uh, decoration box decoration box decoration uh, color color wait I have the color here fine. Uh, now Oh, wait, I'll show this on the screen as well so that you guys can uh, follow along. So just give me a minute, guys. I'll run this on the mobile device. Oh, even if I run this on the mobile device, I won't be able to navigate to the screen unless I write uh, some code here, right? So what I'll do is I'll use one of those. I'll use this button. If you remember, we have a question mark button here, right? Upon tapping this button, we will be taken to this particular screen. Let's do that. So... navigator dot of context dot push material page route inside this uh, builder as usual context uh, plant detail. Fine. Save this. Now let's run this on a mobile device. All right. This is our screen. Let's just try tapping on the question mark. Okay. Now we are taken to this particular screen. Uh, now we have the. I mean, we need the second half of the screen to be white in color, right? So I'll just go back to the code and uh, where is it? Plan detail. Uh, here after this, I'll simply give a positioned widget. Use a positioned widget. Positioned uh, top uh, media query dot of context dot uh, size dot height. Oh, it should be height by 2 since we need it uh, exactly at the half, right? So child would be a container and uh, this container would be of height. Once again, we'll simply use these two. The only difference would be, you guessed it, right? This would be divided by 2. Fine. Uh, now 
that we have done that stuff decoration box decoration whatever we have box decoration uh, border radius border radius dot only top left uh, radius dot circular circular 20.2 uh top right radius dot circular uh, 20.2 and uh, color oh sorry we need to get out of the folder color colors dot white save this let's see how this looks on the mobile device cool now we have a uh, screen exactly like we have here right our first half is the uh, nice green color and the second half is a nice white color with some slight rounded edges now let's go ahead and uh, finish off this stuff there is a back arrow button and a fab button here along with a small badge right yeah we need the badge as well so what I'm going to do is, uh, hmm, how should I tackle this? I'll use an align first and then create the back button. Align. Uh, alignment. Alignment. Dot top left. Uh, child. Icon button. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using an icon button. That's it. Nothing fancy here. After this align, I'll simply do a padding. Padding. And I can probably use the exact floating action button that I had on my uh, previous this floating action button will be exactly the same like we used here so you guys remember we used a floating action button here right i'm going to be doing exactly the same uh, in this screen as well sorry this screen as well fine i have just changed the uh, background color that's it nothing fancy here so i'll save this so you guys can see it on the mobile device now we have a back arrow and a floating action button yeah we have a black arrow i mean not black arrow back arrow and a floating action button with a shopping cart now all i need is this uh, small badge a white color badge with a small notification sign at the top so what i'm going to be doing for that is uh, after this padding i'll have a position widget um, uh, this position widget is the one that's going to be uh, placed in the badge sorry positioned top some 10.0 and uh, left would be media query dot size dot with minus 30 fine and uh, child would be child would be a small container uh, height would be some 18 width would be again some 18 and uh, decoration would be box decoration since i need that to be a rounded uh, badge uh, border radius border radius dot circular 9.2 and uh, color colors dot white fine and after this i can simply do child center child 
context. Now let's see if we get a badge like this. Cool, right? You get a nice looking badge exactly like we have here and uh, it's showing one. Probably we should have used the Montserrat font for this as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, now let's move on so after this badge is done we just need to bring in these three lines of text right since this is going to be just lines of text placed uh, I can simply I'll simply pause the video here and resume recording after I have added these three lines there's nothing fancy in that right I'll probably use a column I'll give a padding and then wait I'll even type that code so that you guys can understand how we could uh, build this after this position just give a padding and uh, inside that padding padding uh, edge inset start only only left 25 units and uh, top some 60 units right? and uh, child will use a column inside this column i can simply use cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start so that everything starts at exactly the wait i'll show you so that everything starts exactly at the same point okay uh, cross axis alignment dot start children will be three lines of text that's it right so i'll just go ahead and uh, fine now as you can see here I have simply added those six lines of text guys actually it is indoor ficus from the dollar 30 sizes and uh, small right so it's basically six lines of text plus a container uh, with a shopping cart and a uh, background color of black so that I am able to create this one as well right so all these stuff are now inside the column uh, let's save this and see how this looks on the mobile device hopefully it should go fine it looks really great right we have uh, the screen exactly looking like what we have here the next thing we could do is we need to go ahead and uh, place this plant and then worry about these two lines of time I mean, not worry about we need to make those two uh, lines of text as well right so first let's deal with the plant uh, plant once again we can use simply use a position widget this padding I'll use a position widget position widget and uh, uh, top I'll do some calculations media query what happened? media query dot off uh, context dot size dot height be an image and uh, this image would be an asset image asset image fit would be sorry fit would be box fit dot cover height would be some 250 units fine uh, save this let's see how this looks on the device cool right as you can see here we have uh, the plant looking exactly where we want it right so yeah guys this uh, obviously I know this is not a ficus plant or an aloe vera plant but still this is the image that I could get off the internet with a white color uh, pot design and the anyway uh, let's move on now all we need is the uh, text uh, these two lines of text I mean not two lines of text some uh, small paragraphs of text and some details so what I'll do is uh, once again I'll use the same method I'll use a padding and then uh, inside that padding there will be a column which contains all these stuff okay exactly like we did for these stuff okay so what I'll do is hold on 
fine as you can see here i added the padding and inside that there is a column cross axis alignment dot start so that it starts exactly uh, at the same point and uh, there's these lines of text that i have added here fine save this it should hopefully look like we envisioned it yeah it looks exactly like we want it right this all to know and detail should be somewhat deeper i guess all to know we'll give semi some people in my previous video were asking me what these what am i giving with this w and stuff if you just click on here it will show you guys thin the least thick and extra light light normal medium semi bold 600 is semi bold uh, we'll just use semi bold okay now if you save this just watch what happens see it has become semi bold right all to know now uh, obviously to use this stuff you need to have those fonts in the directory i have all these fonts in the directory for montserrat but you don't need to include that in pubspec.yaml if you notice in pubspec.yaml i am just including the montserrat dot uh, montserrat regular font right and it'll automatically uh, take and make use of all these uh, styles that come along with this montserrat package right so yeah that's one way of doing it uh, we'll say do the same for uh, details as well but we won't uh, make okay anyway uh, yeah you can play around with this uh, stuff by yourself guys see detail is no bold as well anyway you can play around with this stuff by yourself guys uh, now as you can see here we have this nice looking screen when we tap on question mark that is to get details we are able to uh, get the screen on the left side right now obviously i have simply hard coded all this stuff but when you are writing it for a real application what you need to do is you need to have a probably if you had already written an application you would know this by now you need to have uh, final values here in this widget where is it in this widget you need to have final values and then have a constructor that initializes those final values and then from while calling from here where is it i'm calling this uh, screen from here right in the inkwell here i need to pass in those values from here to the uh, next screen through that particular constructor right uh, if i had confused you kindly let me know in the comments it's pretty much easy i'll make an entire video on how to pass values pass data from this screen to that screen through this uh, material page route okay that's the easiest way uh, to send data from here i mean send dynamic data from here to uh, the next screen so that when you tap on maybe if i want to tap on this question mark then obviously i need to send in different data right this is ficus obviously the same one if i need to tap on this question mark it should be aloe vera right so that's a different data dynamic data we need to change it so uh, the easiest way to do that would be to pass that data in the material page route itself while calling if you need to know how to do that as well kindly let me know in the comment section and i'll make an entire video on that okay so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today now we have this design as well and we did this screen in our previous design uh, so code for both of these will be available in the description it will be linked in the description section the github repo will be linked in the description section uh, if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you really like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video in that way you won't miss out on any of my content right so click on the bell icon and subscribe to my channel it's free guys come on just subscribe and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye